Hey guys, Rashad here from RMBSingLessons.com. All right, I'm going to check out Anton Antenacruz singing on Bended Knee. Looks like he's on stage here. Uh, is the quality on the max? The quality is not too high, but hopefully the audio is fine. We'll see how we go. Goosebumps. Just talking. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do some analysis. All right. Here we go. Wow. Analysis really meaning watching my favorite parts again and talking about it. <laughs> All right. Far out. That was epic. Um, let me just try to get my screen organized a little differently here. Having some tech issues today. All right. So 0.05 when he starts. I love how the I love the arrangement. It should really change the arrangement up for the live. I thought it was going to be five minutes. I'm like, why are they changing the arrangement? But obviously, because it wasn't five minutes. It is a pretty long song. He starts in the chorus. That's really good. It's really nice. Um, but he doesn't full belt it out like he will later. So it's like a nice sort of different way to start the chorus, which I really like when someone can sing the same section, but in a different way. It's a really nice variety. Usually with the volume change. Really nice. This is a really high, by the way. Can somebody tell? It's a really high um, chorus. Can somebody tell? That's falsetto. Can somebody tell? It's really high. Yeah. Uh, I th I think he's 
put it down a bit, probably because we're going to take it up later. <laughs> but really nice intro there. Get. Oh, yes, yeah, so. I. Tell me how to get. That's where I go, say. Get. Yeah. Can somebody tell me how to get things back the way they used? Really nice. Yeah. The crowd was a bit loud there. Yeah. Really nice. Bang, bang. Really beautiful vibrato on the back there. That was really nice. Be Beautiful straight note. Now this is tricky in this song. He's gone from that and then suddenly the it's a big drop in pitch, right? That's hard, right? It's like a big drop. I can and it goes super low there. And he does it really nicely. Okay. Nice. I can now you notice like with tenors like antenna cruise <laughs> people tenor is a guy like that has a higher voice a guy that has a higher voice usually when we sing low, like I'm the same I'm a tenor as well we usually when we sing in the lower part of our range we can't do it that loudly I can it doesn't come out that loud now you can hear me clearly because I got this mic set up that way I'm right up near the mic you know I can you can hear me but on the stage the mics usually aren't that super sensitive and they don't pick it up so um it's hard to show your low notes because you can't sing them loud because we're tenors that's why we're called tenors because we can sing our high notes loud like a low voice person couldn't and um but we can't sing the low notes loud so that's why you kind of hear the note the note is not that loud there you can't hear it i'm sure you can do it if you heard him like in person you, you can hear him do it but he can't make it project really loud and then none of no like tenors can't do that. That's why like voices like Michael Bublé, who's kind of a bit deeper, they can make those notes kind of really project louder and thicker and sound. Yeah, just just a note on different voice types. I love how they flip to to Wanye's part of the song. I love it because it's the like really epic section. But of course, the other sections are really nice, like so many nights I like all those sections, Nathan. But I like he jumps straight into one year's bits, maybe just a bit more impactful for stage. Ah, crazy. Ah, ah. Something like that. It's a hard run. Ooh, that's hard. I'm going so off. When I open up my eyes. Yeah, something like that. Uh, it's a re I really love this verse. <laughs> love that. Reality. Nice change. So I think one year in the song just goes to face reality. Just like that. And that's a really nice change there. Nice. Look at the reaction. <laughs> He's feeling it. Fire, man, absolute fire. So, first thing, the come. <laughs> the come note, sorry, it sounds dirty. The come note. Oh my god, this is just getting worse and worse. The note where he sings the word come. <laughs> it's very high, right? Come! 
that's so uh, firstly he he really built that really powerfully come back to me see i can't push that with a lot of volume well it is my kind of early it's early here for me but um but still i would struggle pushing that note with a lot of volume and he really does that nicely really nice yeah now this change he does here this run is already hard enough come back to me something like that come back to me that's what the run is like it's a really like on the recording it's really really hard and you have to go like this when you sing it like i just did <laughs> and i love this change not only does he hold this super long straight note, but then he comes into the run at the end of it. Now, like, by the time you're holding a long note, your breath is already sort of going. Then to do a precise, super fast run at the end of it, that is really, really epic, trust me. I think he changes it. It's a bit different from how Wanye does it, like the exact notes of the run part, but it's really, really nice. Like it's at the same level of complexity because it's the same kind of speed that Wanye does it. Really crazy, damn. It's like that part. That's like the pattern that's repeating. You could think of it as two threes. So it's going on. Like a triangle. You can think of it like that. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then you just have to practice that to get faster at it. start it again like without taking a breath in between Illuminati <laughs> third eye all right Illuminati triangle <laughs> just been an idiot yeah but that's the run crazy That's how he starts it though. With a quick four note descending. It's that repeating. And then there's like a bounce on the same note. Crazy. I love it. Oh, I love that. Can we go home? Really nice. Oh, crazy. So creative. Like, really feeling it. I love it. Love goes wrong. I love it. I gotta cover this, but I really struggle with the range. Maybe if I dropped a few a few keys down at karaoke. Nice. I love how he's not like he's not singing the chorus, he's just doing improvs. It's the best. It's, I'm the same, it's like do I sing the chorus or do I do improvs? <laughs> Epic note they get. Let's check that. Good. B flat. Out again. But he's belting at full force. That's hard. Get things back. And he does a little hold too, so like to impact it more. Instead of help me how to get things back, like they do in the song. So Betty holds it like for that extra impact. I love doing that too. It's really mad. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Pride. 
pride. Crazy and nice run there. Same one. It doesn't even finish the word, that's mad. <laughs> Now everyone's grooving on this because this is a really groovy sort of chorus the, the way the, um, the hits feel um, Don't ever let it go That's a hard melody, right? Because it's like starts high and drops pretty low Don't ever let it go It's a crazy melody I remember I struggled a lot just to get that melody It's like a run but on words Don't ah, don't ever let it go really tricky that let was a bit wrong don't ever let it go nice change in the spirit of love. you gotta believe in the spirit of love in the spirit of love so i changed it very nice Another hard, another hard melody. Had another hard melody kills it. No, I don't believe our love's terminal. Nice key change. Epic run and note, high note. Come home. That's an A. Really nice. I think he's put the key down from the song. I think in the actual. I think it's a C at this point. So he's probably put it down to three keys to fit his voice. And it really does feel like it fits well. So that's another hard thing. Like when you sing, it's, he's got a band so he can put it down like however much he wants and it still sound good because it's with a band. But um, but like uh, when you go to karaoke or something like that, if you've only got a, if you've only got the track to work with, when you put the uh, a few keys down, the track starts to sound muffled and a bit strange the technology is not good enough to change the key of a track really really perfectly like the bass starts to get too muddy and that kind of stuff but yeah he's picked the right key for your, for his voice and it sounds really good but that's something to take note of you want it to sound like the same perceived effort as the actual artist so when one is singing it he sounds like he's really pushing and anton sounds like he's really pushing here and that's the point you got to find the key where it sounds like you're pushing but you don't sound crap you know what I mean? Like you, you don't sound like you don't crack like I do in my performances sometimes, um, or you don't. Um, it doesn't sound like it's too easy. You know, like you don't want it to sound like it's too easy for you either, because then it won't have any impact. If you put it down six keys and it's too easy, when you when you get to the come home and you don't even have to really push to do it, then it doesn't sound that good. So it's like a hard balance finding the right key for your voice for every cover that you do. Particularly covers like this, where they span su across such a large vocal range. With someone like Wanye, who's so high with his belts, it's very hard to copy that for most singers, even if you are a tenor. So, um, yeah, just something to take note of. Epic. Really nice run. Similar complexity to the original one. Very nice. Not the same run, but similar complexity. I love that. Yes. Woo! Yeah. And then I love the reaction too. Yeah, it's really hard to copy. Yeah, that means it's really good. If you're not sure how hard something is, try to copy it, <laughs> and then you get an idea. You'll see some of us when we're reacting. Um, I don't really watch other reactors, um, but my brother does. Uh, my brother again, one of my other brothers, and sometimes he'll show me the parts that he loves of certain um, reactors, and you'll notice that rea some reactors will like naturally it's just like try to copy a bit like you see how i do but then i like i'll break down and sometimes i just copy for my own sake but um copying is the way you check how hard something is <laughs> like the first time you go oh like how hard is that could i do that or you know what i mean it's that kind of thing it's like just sort of checking as in it's a way appreciate like what the artist is doing how hard it is because we hear so many amazing artists because of technology 
because we get access to the internet so we hear so many incredible artists and shows like this on tv where they show so many artists sometimes it's it's hard to it's not simple it's not, it's not oh, you might not realize how hard what these singers are doing is yeah that was badly poorly structured sentence you might not realize how hard it is to do what these singers are doing so sometimes it's good to try to copy it and to help you appreciate the difficulty yeah there's a b there it really pushed now I know he can kill it because I watched his one last cry and I've heard him kill the belts but it's cool to see him in a stage situation as well under like a lot more pressure and that kind of thing nice epic see they're smiling they know they know how hard it is to do that Ooh. I missed they did a waterfall I missed it during their initial reaction The way, the way. That's hard. The way, the way, the way, the way. Be, be, be. The way you used to be. It's even hard to copy it, and he's probably made it up on the spot. Always practice it. I love their reaction too. I love how these coaches react to like the runs and the, the hard stuff. It feels really, really real. Um, the Australian one, Australian voice, I don't regularly watch it, but when I have watched it, the reactions are the same. And they don't usually get singers that can do this kind of stuff on. We have singers like that, but they don't, they don't really prioritize those kind of singers here. Not anymore. They did a little bit in the beginning, early days of Australian Idol, but not anymore. Now they choose different styles of singers. Probably singers that fit more with the current music industry's sort of vocal styles, like the indie and sort of mixed styles. Yeah, look at the reactions, oh my god, even the reactions are awesome in slow motion. <laughs> I was like, why are they not filming Anton? You know, but then I realized, no, it's worth it for this guy's reaction. Yes, hit that table. <laughs> Creativity is a special gift, alright? It's something that you can develop to become more creative by developing your skills. And the way you do it is by learning what a lot of other people do, how they create, and then you become more creative when you learn how other people create. And then on top of that, some people have a natural gift of putting ideas together. So when they hear other people's ideas, they can create really cool ideas themselves because they just have a gift of seeing how things fit together, if you know what I mean. I've seen my brother do that, Karim. Um, he, he'll hear things and he'll be like he will recreate something and then he'll tell me what he created it from oh, wow how do you even think like that so it's like um yeah creativity is really exciting and it's probably why the, these, these coaches slash judges are very excited when he hears something really creative that isn't it, it is they do a similar run in the song but it's not just it's not exactly like that so it's nice when you hear an artist sort of make their own version of the song you know in little variations not so much that they completely change it maybe because they like how it is because it's really complex and nice like just like classical music classical music is really complicated and nice just to play it as it is is a real pleasure to listen to and to do but to be able to to recreate with tiny variations gives it a little new interesting twist and makes you say oh that's how anton did it for example <laughs> That heartbreaker for Sarah. Yeah. Really nice there, ending. All right, guys, I really enjoyed that. Thanks for sending that to me. I know a few of you sent me a lot for Anton, and it, I finally got around to it. Thanks for waiting, and thanks for sending it again. I'll see you guys next time on Rashid Hayek, rvsinglistens.com. Bye.